Yo, yo, it's Alex Rome. I'm gonna show you how to make some Jack U percussion from scratch. And I'm gonna show you exactly what kind of percussion we're gonna be making. So I'm gonna play it real quick. And it's the percussion that you hear in this drop. Let's do this thing. So get yourself open a nice clean slate. I'm gonna mute these drum side room. Then we're gonna start cooking. So first thing. Uh well, I mean you don't have to start from a clean slate because clearly I'm not. That's what I get to start with. But I normally don't start with this. I st always start with drums. So this is a quite different for me, but I will be making most of these drums in solo mode, so I won't hear anything else besides the drums. So first thing I'm gonna do is the open up ultra beat, and I'm gonna grab a nice kick from the kit called gritty um so go ahead and grab a kick oh yeah I wanted to say that when you open up ultra beat and you go down you go up to where it says default here and then down to kits you may not have all these kits and the reason why is you get most of these kits when you download or buy the latest version of Logic Pro X, like the latest, latest, latest version, like I think it's 10.2.2, .2. and then you get like a ton of Ultra Beat kits. So I'm just going to add these kicks as I had them. Oh shit. And it always helps when you're putting down a beat to turn on the metronome. Especially if it's a beats per minute that you're not used to. Uh, I'm not used to 140 BPM. I typically work around 100 or 128 or something. So I kind of kn already know, I memorized where to put certain drums, but 140, I don't know 140 that well, so. So this is like the pattern I'm going to use. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of EQing to this kick because it is dirty, but it does give me what I want. You can see it kind of gets real ugly down here. I'm going to try to round it out. Or, you know what? Fuck that. See, I kind of want like that punchy area to kind of shine. Let me turn off this metronome because it's kind of fucking me up now.
I still have that little step right there, but that's okay because it's not really bothering me anymore. So now that I have it punching the way I want it to punch, I can go ahead and take out this ugly range right here. So I'm going to add one more EQ before I move on and boost the highs just a, just a tiny little bit. Kind of got these two come up a little bit so that's okay for now. Now I'm going to move on, make some nice drums. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use Ultra Beat. I had a nice little thing going here. That's a cool. Uh, kick. Sounds weird. Why does that sound so weird? Oh, because I was on the wrong one. I was on the wrong kit, guys. There we go. Now, this is an, uh, something really crucial about Jack U, and that is that they use like a really short snare with a lot of tone to it. So it's not like an average sounding snare. Like, you couldn't pull off a Jack U drop with a dubstep snare. They have these like really short attacky like snappy snares with nice tone to it. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by tone. I don't feel like rooting through my shit to find this part of the snare. So this is a cool layer because it doesn't have a lot of attack to it. kind of works and it gives a lot of Sn uh, not snap it gives a lot of overtone not really overtone but tone to it so now together they would sound like this and where did I get that it is just a cowbell that I loaded into the what's it called the um, EXS24 sampler just simply grabbed a cowbell and slid it right into this and now it's all throughout that and I picked the right tone to go with the drop it's in the same key now everything's lined up the way I want it to be okay so now let's put down some hats and this is where it's going to get Jack Yui again. I'm just going to click on this and duplicate this layer real quick. Um, deep house. And for these hats, I'm going to use the Deep House kit and Ultra Beat. And I'm going to use the hi-hats that they give to us.
دست که gotta be something wrong here deep house kit Ooh, that's where I'm wrong okay so I didn't use the deep house kit I used gritty which if you don't have the latest version of logic you should have gritty down in a, in a special way. Let me see what I did here real quick. Alright, so it looks like what I did was I had one and then two and then two and then a quick two and then I had three is that what I did it was like one big one and then and then two yep that is what I did all right cool so it kind of looks like this but I make some play on velocity. So now we can just run it out. This transient is getting a little heavy. But that's okay because we can fix that. I'm going to layer these hi hats with the same thing, only I'm going to add chorus. So we get some nice. Get some nice bang. Alright. So now let's make a new layer and let's add some complexity to these hi hats. thing I like about Ultrabeat is you you can envelope there we go I want this to be bigger but I don't think I can do that
that's like if I knew how to use Ultra Beat better, I can really do what I want to do. But but that's pretty good actually, because now I can shorten this up. I can probably add a cool little something something down here. Okay, so now I'm going to add some texture, but if you don't know what texture means, I'm going to add some atmosphere to the drums, if you will. And for this, I'm not going to use I'm not going to use What the fuck am I not gonna use? Oh yeah, Ultra Beat. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna use a simple crash. With a lot of sound. Bang. And on every fourth little beat here, every quarter bar, I'm just gonna loop it out. And then you can press this. You kind of squash it. And so you kind of end up with this loud in your face awesomeness. And like, mind you, like I'm using a crash here because Jack U does that, but you can like put, you can put any kind of atmospheric like vinyl dust, vinyl dirt or anything, something like that. But in Jack U, where are you now? Wait, I think it's called where are you now? The one with Justin Bieber? They do this in the background. If you listen very closely, you can hear it. Sounds just like that. If not, they, they uh, if, if anything were to different this from them, they would have a little bit more rhythm to it. But essentially it looks like that. So I'm gonna add one more thing here. Just a basic clap. I don't even know what I just picked. I just picked something. And this one layers nice with that kit, that symbol. Now this will come like halfway through the drop. And I'm just going to add it to to our loop. Then you take all of this. Once you've finished your thing, I'm going to leave the kick alone. Oh shit. I bounced the project. Didn't mean to do that. 
I hope my face was in it the whole time. Bounce regions. And then suddenly you get this ultra quiet and disappointing looking bounce that looks a little too quiet. Come up here. Wait. I was supposed to leave this on whichever. Okay. Get yourself a nice couple of layers to mix with. Add some reverb so you can easily add it to all of them. Jackie was very small room based reverb, so I'm gonna add small room reverb. Sounding like shit. There you go, guys. It's how to make a sweet drum beat like Jack You. So I'm just going to play this out, and that will be the end of the video.